Hello everyone and welcome to part two of a uh, absolutely amazing series. Not oh, amazing. It's to help you guys of <clears throat> macroeconomics. Um, so the previous video was on microeconomics on how to get a good score. Now it's on macroeconomics. Like I said, everything is structure, everything is routine, everything is doable, um, in my opinion. Because you get to spend as much time as you want on this. So as I stated earlier, um, <clears throat> few key guidelines on uh, what you're gonna do when you're trying to find uh, when you're trying to find an article. Make sure it's from a different source. Make sure it's actually macroeconomics. Make sure it's one to two pages long. Um, also, make sure that it is good. What I mean by good is that it has numbers and there's not much analysis on economics already. So you can do your own analysis if you get what I mean. And make sure, like I said, there's a problem and then there's a fix. So what's the problem? there's evidently some sort of problem because the fix is um, um, IBA aims to cut corporate tax below 30 percent cool 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 alright let's get right into it this is my macro IA commentary um so first of all 25 words like I said there's a problem what's the problem I didn't read the problem it's not on the um, thingamajiggy the title so it's definitely somewhere here what is it Ooh, it has recession. There's some more recession. It has recession somewhere, because I definitely. So the problem is, this article addresses how Japan will recover from its recession. I think it's somewhere here. I can't be bothered. Through reducing corporate tax below 30%, leading to a boost in investment and wages. Short and simple, 20 to 25 words, the problem and the fix. Very easy. Um, quote as many times as you can. So refer to the exact words verbatim or the exact figures. Like I said, 30% here. Now, de define it. Ooh. So it's not as easy as like last time, like I said, market failure, this and this. So for macro, I think it's pretty easy too, in my opinion. This is why. Like I said, three definitions. A cut in corporate tax, I already defined it here. Corporate tax is an imposed tax place on companies' profit, is a form of expansionary fiscal policy. So I defined corporate tax already, and I will define expansionary fiscal policy right now. This is a government action to reduce taxes and increase government expenditure. Um, this stimulates an increase in capital investment, one of the determinants ooh, of aggregate demand, leading to more ec economic growth. Okay. Aggregate demand is the total consumption plus C plus G plus I plus X minus M. Shh. Oh, I defined four things. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm supposed to. That's a bit too much. But technically, I didn't define corporate tax. Well, it, this is definition. So I define four things. A tax reduction may enable Japan to get out of the recession phase, which is two or more competitive consecutive quarters of decline in the economy, and get into the recovery phase. Oh no, that's four definitions. I said three was the magic number, but technically, to justify my reasoning, it's not a definition if you include something in brackets. Definition is something is a something. Um, so. Technically, corporate tax is not the definition. I mean, that's just a fake definition. So let's just say that's three and a half definitions, which is okay. So the first clear definition is expansionary fiscal policy. And then what I also defined is um, <clears throat> aggregate demand, and I defined recession. I think. Um, Okay, the three definitions are very easy for everyone. Somehow you get to smooth it in, smooth it out. If you're doing a macro IA, I think aggregate demand has to be defined one way or another, or aggregate supply in that case, um, AD or AS, one or the other. Aggregate demand has many different definitions. The consumption, what is it, the total output of the economy, C plus G plus I plus X minus M, which is the expenditure one, and the YEO, income, the total income, which is what wage, um, hold on, land is rent, so rent, labor is wage, capital is profit, interest, and land, labor, capital, enterprise is profit. All of those together, you can define it as many times as, as either, either, or. Total output of the economy, C plus G plus I plus X minus M, like this, or the total income. Um, I suggest this easiest one, C plus G plus, that's it, formal definition, that's it. They're all right. So, define aggregate demand define this is the key the problem what's the problem right now it says it's recovering from its recession 
Uh, you can, another problem might be it's currently at a boom. It's too fast. Hyperinflation. Hyperinflation could be a good one. And then one, two, and then number three, um, you could define, um, in this case, corporate tax below 30%. What is that a form of? Expansionary fiscal policy, expansionary monetary policy, um, contractionary fiscal policy, or contractionary monetary policy, or some sort of uh, automatic stabilizers. Define that. So those are the three key things that you got to define. Big picture first, um, which is in this case, what is the corporate tax below 30%? I think that's expansionary fiscal policy. Let me just do a similar, similar diagram. Um, uh, sorry, paint. So you, the first definition would be expansionary or contractionary uh, fiscal or monetary. That's number one. Or what the problem is, automatic stabilizer or, or something, 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 the fix, basically. Number two, you can define what it is currently. So in this case, this is currently a recession. You can define recession. You can define boom, define, boom, define inflation, define... Yep, and number three, you're going to define what they're defined in this case. Dun, 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 dun. Expansionary. Oh, shit. Aggregate demand or aggregate supply. Remember, you can define aggregate demand three different ways. Y, E, O. In this case, I would define it the expenditure. Expenditure method, you can define the income me method, which is rent, and wages, interest and profit or output is just the total output not including forgot the formal definition total output not including second hand good like semi forgot sorry but yeah so back oh my gosh it's 37 minutes sorry guys for taking so long like i said problem definitions 25 words 100 words um <clears throat> similar to the mic mic micro ie um, say the problem, sorry, not the problem, the problem right here. Very, 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 very easy. And then what are you going to do below that? This is just easily the definition. Uh, sorry, not definition. Saying what the problem is on the diagram or the figure. Let's try it above. Major assumption is that it lies in the keys. I don't think you have to do that. I like being extra. The AS curve demonstrating how economy can increase output without raising price. Therefore, a deflationary gap exists as Japan's current output of 4N1. Remember, label everything when you can. 4N1 trillion is lower than the full employment state with this. It's currently an 80. It's, number one, it's Keynesian because blah, 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 blah. Number one is below. So, number two, it's below. So, number three, it is um, at a deflationary gap. So, what's the fix? Ooh, this is the, the from chart one or diagram one to diagram two because japan plans to reduce effective corporate tax below 30 percent it can be inferred that the kitchen union is used and labor market it with evidence of government intervention okay good number two this is the effects of the 30 percent corporate tax it says through the tax cut japan hopes to achieve its goal of gdp goal of more than 20 percent from the 391 so that's kind of clever um 30% is just a number that is you can't include 30% tax cut in here you can do it the old-fashioned micro way but that's micro and not macro so um, and I don't think you guys have learned what did I learn the the equation model of Phillips curve no you can't do Phillips, Phillips ISR no ISLM no ignore what I just said um, it's hard to demonstrate the cause so you just which is the 30 percent so you just illustrate the effect which is it says on the article GDP's goal of more than 20 percent from the 491 million now state first of all like I said state explicitly what it says here the easy bit easy definition not easy easy explanation simple explanation AD would shift from AD to AD1 increase in economic price from P1 to P2 uh, quote whenever you can boost investments instead of slipping back to recession it will be at full employment. Um, also, I, I, um, yeah. So, in this case, um, now you can evaluate. So you can do the class long-term, short-term effect. Oh, let me just get a drink. I'm a bit thirsty. 
assumptions, stakeholders, priorities, pros and cons. Um, like I said, reducing tax leads to higher profit, hence business can afford to increase workers' pay long term. Like I said, long term. Remember, that's one of the CLASP options. C L A S P P. Uh, thank you to whoever. I think Jason Walker or someone on the internet. Thank you so much for this. Um, <coughs> available <coughs> for long-term capital investment. So yeah. And as income is the major determinant of consumption, the increased level of consumption is dependent on J Japan's MPC. Higher MPC equals aggregate demand. This is an extra, and this this is specifically towards expansionary fiscal policy. If you have that, I suggest you illustrate the multiplier effect. If you have an expansionary monetary policy, you can also illustrate. No, you cannot because it's not a direct C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Um, so illustrate the multiplier effect only when it's an expansion in your fiscal policy. If you have anything otherwise, expand more on the CLASPP. If not, uh, you can do illustrate the multiplier effect as I just stated here. And then once you've illustrated that, um, what did I do? I demonstrated the, like I said, clasp over and over again. So what did I say? Ooh, disadvantages, pros and cons. So, yep. And then long run time like issues so get the pros and cons from the 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 book the Ch Ch Ellie Chagat case book those are really good don't just apply it to this scenario or whatever scenario you have so yeah um, yeah and then like I said once you have done this similar to the micro micro one um, demonstrate an alternative so in this case a possible expansionary monetary policy to for the fix like I said in the first paragraph 50 words or less uh, state what it is so I would decrease sorry Q would increase money supply Q1 to Q2 I would decrease from I1 to I2 I don't think you need to do ISLM curve just an IS curve would be good um, the effectiveness of Japan pulling out of recession ooh good 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 good, good. hence they are willing to lend large sums of money so how do you end this how did I finish my IA um, in my opinion, I think this is. I have a definite answer, like I said. So the structure is, you have your, the problem. The article has their fix. You do analysis on that. Do evaluation on that. C L A S P P. All of that, um, long term, short term effect. Very easy. Assumption always a classic one. If you don't ha don't know anything to write, state the ceteris paribus. Assumption might not be constant. Cetris paribus means all things held constant. That's only in theoretical economics, but not in practical economics. Stakeholders, who's going to be affected, blah, 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 blah. Priorities, always, and pros and cons from the Traget case book, so that's good. Um, I ended this. I try to be a bit smart or clever. Um, I said this. My answer is always both if both policies are currently concurrently implemented then it would be towards a good direction that's always my answer and it has always been that i think you can do that too this is what i said ultimately i believe that this is really clever there's many different laws in economics this law this law that law this law or many fancy laws like law of large numbers the prime uh, the what is it the microchip law how technology is going to be increasing that way the UPenn professor, I forgot his name, but this dude, Tin Bergen, or wait, hold on, if Adam Smith did a law of that, this dude did a law of that, state the law, just make yourself sound smart, this is only in the last, last, last sentence, so I stated, ultimately, I believe that linking to Tin Bergen's rule, Tin Bergen's rule is that if, uh, that you, forgot, I just don't want to teach you guys the wrong thing. I think if I think it's like how policies they have to work together to achieve a better goal. It's like how it's like economies of scale in a way. So if one policy does that, the other policy does that. If you do it together, oh my gosh, my engine is so slow. Um, it's because I'm uploading the microeconomics right now, or I'm rendering it. Um, so Tinbergen has ruled if the use of each policy isolated is less effective when aiming to reach a goal. If both policies are concurrently implemented with the correct method, Japan would reduce deflationary gap and holds towards. So Tim Bergen states that for
for each and every policy, there must be at least one policy rule. There. If there are fewer tools than targets, then some policies goals will not be achieved. Oh, so you can say that for every single one of your IAs. If you have an alternative, say, because of tin bargain, both current, current policies are concurrently implemented, this should head towards a better direction. It's actually very simple. Like, it's just over and over again, the same thing over and over again, if you haven't realized. Um, what? So section 8 definitions is very easy to get 2 out of 2. Get 3 out of 4 definitions, and get 3 definitions is actually good. I overdid it here. Um, application, quote, whenever you have the chance to. So like, bold it, and including the diagram, the 20% increase. 20%, was the 20% number? Right here. Um, and... That's very easy. Application is very easy. Definitions is very easy. Um, the hard bit is actually the evaluation bit. Clasp this. You just have to make it sound well, sound well and make it flow really, really well. Um, yeah. And I think you guys would do a great job. Thank you for watching. And remember the alternative. It's always a banger. Alternative is so good. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully this has helped you. Uh, be sure to tune in for my final, final um, video. So yeah, peace.